movie Urban Cowboy made country music cool, a mechanical bull famous, and launched singer Mickey Gilly into superstardom. The Urban Cowboy kicked my uh, career in high gear and uh, opened so many doors, it was unbelievable. He was booked in Vegas, played at the White House, got a star on the Walk of Fame. Hollywood producers picked his nightclub for the movie after seeing an article about it in Esquire magazine. Ironically, Mickey Gilly didn't like the article. I was disappointed in the article because I thought he was making fun of country music. Because every other word was boy meets girl, twang, twang. Boy falls in love with girl, twang, twang, you know. It was twang, twang this and twang, twang that. But he took the twang to the bank. He had a number one song on the movie's soundtrack, Stand By Me. Darling, stand by me. He rode the urban cowboy wave for the next five years. I was traveling almost like a rock star. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> but the fun didn't last. By the mid 80s, he was locked in a legal feud with the club's co-owner and the hits dried up. Then in 1989, Gilly's nightclub went up in flames. Flames and smoke were already pouring out of Gilly's when firefighters arrived. The, fire the famous was so club big, was gone. The soaring career stalled. But Mickey Gilly still had music in his blood. So he came here to Branson, Missouri. Branson is a mecca for live music, and Gilly opened his theater in 1990. If I a rose to you. Next door, there's Gilly's Texas Cafe with photos of the famous, the outfit he wore in Urban Cowboy, and this white leather number, tricky on a hot stage. And I would perspire. Yeah. It would get very, very wet and turn different colors. So. <laughs> <laughs> no longer a superstar, but just happy to be performing until tragedy struck in 2009. In a matter of just a few seconds, changed my life totally. It was a freak accident. He fell while helping a friend move a couch in Branson. He was paralyzed from the neck down. He spent weeks at Tier Memorial Hermann in Houston and six months in rehab. He learned to walk again, but lost something else. You started playing the piano at age 13. So what's it like to suddenly not be able to play? Oh, it's devastating. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I got it up here, but I ain't got it down here. My hands just don't work well enough to play the piano. Still, it's been quite a ride for the kid who grew up singing gospel in Faraday, Louisiana. Your life is like a really good country song. Heartache, love, joy, heartbreak, <laughs> right? Well, that's what country music is all about, fighting, drinking, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Gillick, the original urban cowboy. Len Cannon, KHOU, 11 News.